Good morning, this is Bob Miller with Somebody's Good to a Video, day number 196. Well, every day I write, I, I actually create a video about who I'm grateful for. And today, I mean, I'm grateful not only for a lot of people, but I'm grateful for some cool things that are happening in my life. Like, for instance, my, my blog, I just got it up again after being down for the longest time. It's back up. It's kind of crude, still kind of crude, but you can go to go to what Bob Miller Success. I hope you do. I hope you go and you like my YouTube channel. Bob, again, again, it's Bob Miller success, and uh, and I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to get my blog out there every day, just like I'm doing with these with these videos. But I'm really stoked about that. But this year, I'm I'm happy. I'm today. I'm, I'm really grateful for a lot of people, but I'm also grateful for some amazing books that I read this year. Now, these are just some of the books that made a big impact on me this year. Uh, Brenda Bashar's book, The Motivation Manifest. So we did we did a whole webinar every single week. We we took his one on chapter by chapter. An amazing book. Tony Robbins' book, Money Mastery, the Art of the Game. Robert Hollis's book, How, How Is It Working? Uh, Susan Sherry Young's book, How to Allow. Those are those are great books that I read this year. And some of these people that I, I didn't even know last year at this time. I didn't I didn't know Susan Sherry Young. I didn't know Robert Hollis. I knew Brendan Bashar, of course, Tony Robbins. I've been following with him for about 30 years. And then the other people that I want to mention today, and then I'm going to tell a short story about one of them. But, you know, Debbie Garcia, she's one of my people today. Didn't know her last year. Jody Landis. I didn't know her last year. I, I didn't know I didn't know her at all last year. And, and I want to bring Jody Landis up because she's. A, I met her this year just just through Facebook. Facebook is just an amazing platform. You can meet so many wonderful people. That's where I met. That's where I met the Michael and Daniel Weninger, the owners of Asante Organics. They're, here's these guys. They, they created the very first, the very first 100% tox, toxin-free, 100% completely organic personal care product. I met these guys there. They're friends of mine now, so I didn't even know these people last year. So Facebook is so cool. But Jody Landis sent me a message yesterday. I was coming out of a store, and I was in my car, and I'm reading a message on a Facebook Messenger, and she said that she went to the doctor. Now, she's a stroke survivor. She had, she had like me, an aneurysm where it popped the, you know, popped in her brain, popped in her brain, and blood goes into the brain, it's, and it's not a good mix. So we we forged kind of a kind of a, a friendship, just not through our stroke support community. She wasn't even involved in it. Just I, I met her through some other some other area, but just every so often we every so often we talk, and it's, it's always it's always pretty generic, just about help you know talking about getting better, improving, and things like that. But she told me that she was inspired by the things that I'm doing. And so she went to the doctors yesterday, and they told her that the aneurysm that she had in there, they, they coiled it. They did this procedure where they, they, they coiled it. She said they told her it was, it was, it was healed. And it's like wow! It was so so cool to to, re, to hear her say that. I just I knew you would you would you would appreciate the um, her joy and, and sharing her joy with her. And I did. I said that's incredible. It made me feel so good. I actually got goosebumps. And, when, and then when she told me that she said that, that I inspired her to, to believe in herself. It's like wow! That is just so cool. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jody. So so I just want to say thank you so much for doing that. And and everybody else here that made an impact on my life. All the ones that I mentioned. Now you could go either way. You could you could you could look at yourself and say, "Well, I got this problem," like like Jody says, and and, and and dwell on it. Or you can be like another person that, that I'm naming here, Scott Tatchell, who had a stroke years ago, and he became locked in where he was like 100% paralyzed, totally paralyzed. And then he got back a little bit. He was like 95% paralyzed. But he wrote a book with a head stick. He's got a, a stick on his head, and and he, and he was typing typing like this with a little stick in his head just typing on the keyboard and he wrote a book called scottslockedin.com so check that out but it's amazing what you can do if you if you put your mind to it if, if, if you know what you want and that's what I do every day I design I write down in my little index card reminder of who I am and what I stand for what I want to do because every day you can every if you if there's one thing message that I want to get to people is that every day you can no matter what your circumstances every day you can grow every day you can appreciate which which is gratitude you can share gratitude every day you can improve every day you can imagine how your life can be every day you can enjoy life if you choose to enjoy it every day you can learn new things every day you can give love and every day you can share so that's that's it's simple it's a very simple strategy if you remember that and I write that down all the time it's my that's my gals G A I G A I E L S but it's it's so simple it's so basic but it, it all depends. It all goes on what we focus on, where we where we put our intentions to. And for me, I, I you know, wear this little wristband to reminder. I, you need reminders. Brenda Bashar in an interview I heard say today, he said he got a little a little alarm goes off three times a day.
day in his phone that gives him reminders about who he is. Because we get lost. We just get lost out there in, in, with, with so many distractions, so many things. So, if there's one thing, just write it down every day, who you are. So you remember who you are, so you don't get lost in, in, in being whatever, what's going on in your life. You're, you're not just like tossed around like a, like, a, like a ship on the rocks. Write it down, write your intentions, who you are, what you intend to become, and, and what, you, what you're going to do. And then, and then carry it around with you, read it in the morning, read it in the night, and then do it every single day. So anyway, that, that, that's my, those are my people today. So I'll see you tomorrow on day 197. Now, who are you grateful for? I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.